Welcome to Kerbal Bowling Program. Yes, I have a lot of Kerbals here lined up like bowling pins. And I'm gonna have a nice game of bowling with them. They're all quite happy to do it. You know, look at the smiles on their face. I told them we're testing the uh, impact tolerance of the EVA suits. Uh, yeah, they're okay with that. Uh, yeah, that's... that's Bartbury over there. Nobody likes him. Right. So, we're not going to use a bowling ball though, because that's boring. Uh, you know, I could have strapped some reaction wheels to something and rolled it over them and sent them tumbling around, but no, we want to uh, really test those EVA suits. So, I've built a cannon. Uh, it's quite a simple design actually. It's a fuel tank, there's a mainsail pointed this way, and it's one of those little decouplers because they don't have a lot of decoupling force so when that decouples it this doesn't go very far and then the engine exhaust makes that explode which then propels the uh, crew pod and I got some wheels on it so that I can uh, find my range All right, they're about 700 meters away so I'm just gonna try it from here and we just fire up the engine and then decouple the pod and let's see if I can get a strike first time. Whee! Oh, I think we overshot it. Yep. How far is that? Oh, yeah. So let's just go back to launch. That was, um,. <laughs> quite far out actually. I think I'm gonna have to back up a good couple of hundred meters here. So it's quite steady on these wheels considering how they're attached by a girder like that. So yeah, it's Don Lorf inside here sacrificing himself for science. As all Kermans are glad to do. Alright, let's try from here. That's another 150 meters back or so. Whee! Oh, hopefully I haven't angled it too much. Yep. Oh, still overshooting. Quite a lot there. So. Oh. Well, we want to... <laughs> yes. It does kind of explode after you've, um... After you've launched it. I, I'm quite surprised, actually, that this cannon design doesn't immediately... flatten itself into the runway... Uh, as soon as you press launch, because... I mean, that's a mainsail engine there. So yes, I do need to go further back. Come on, Dunlorf, step on the gas. What was that? Felt like it was just loading a model. Maybe there's something on the launch pad, I don't know. Right, let's try from here. We have to get it actually pointed at the Kerbals now. This is a lot more difficult than I expected, I have to say. So I'm going to quick save here instead of reverting back to the launch every time. Whoops. Kaboom! Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, we can ineffectually spin around. Oh, that was very close. Very close indeed. So we need to angle ever so slightly to the right and back up by about 10 meters, I think. So just back up, angle a little to the right, and try again. I can't save it while I'm throttled up. Ooh. 
Aren't we too far to the right this time? I mean, the tiniest correction is... <laughs> I thought I'd landed safely then. No such luck for Don Morph. Come on. Ever since they remodeled the the uh, space center, it does take a considerable amount of time to load. It has to be said. I mean, compared to before with the relatively simple models. And try again. Oh, it's so difficult to get it to fly straight, it really is. I think the distance is okay now though. So I didn't save it there, did I? But So yeah, we're getting the right distance. We just need to get the angle right so that we can hit them. So let's try zooming right in and looking right down the barrel of the cannon. There we go, we'll just inch it into place. Yeah, he's not too happy about it, but oh, 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 it's so close. It's about 20 meters away. So we want to angle to the right a bit now. I mean, just the tiniest little degree of change over here sends the thing way off course down there, you know. That's how physics works. I don't know what that looks like inside there. Huh. You can just see the moon. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer. So I think we do actually need to inch forward a little bit. A little bit more to the right. And I'll try again. Boom! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, we're so close now. Come on, loading screens. Here we go. So, a little bit forward again. A little bit more to the right. And boom! Oops. Trying to press the staging a little too quickly there. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's so close! So close. So I think just a little bit forward now. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting to blow things up. Right. We just inch forward a little bit. And stop here. So I think I may hit them now. Come on! I don't think I'm going to get a strike, but I think I might just wing the ones on the left there. Oh, look how close that was! Okay. So I have angled this a little bit too far to the right now, I think. All these minor adjustments. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Angle a little bit to the left. Save. And go! Kaboom! Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god, that was just inches, inches from the uh, target there. Go on. It's a quick save. 
So yes, it's directly on target now, so I have to get this thing to move forward without changing the angle at all. Which is easier said than done with Kerbal Space Program physics. Okay. This is it. Come on. You can do it. This is much more fun than the uh, 10 pin bowling. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, I think this is, um, I think this is chaos theory at work here. There's something. It's not quite the same physics every single time, it's just some slight physics thing making the launch different, I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh! Oh! Right next to them. Right next to them. I nearly hit the one on the left there. So... Breaks off. Now I just need to just nudge it to the right. It does work if you're not throttled up. Or not uh, powering the motors, I mean. It's kind of like tank controls. Come on! Come on! Yes! 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 Oh! Did I bounce off their heads? I think I did. <laughs> Oh, they're all over the place. So, that is the impact tolerance of these suits. They can take a command pod to the head, and they are fine. I mean, we cycle through all this crap and try and get one of the ones that's fallen over. Here he is. You know, he's spasming a little bit. That neck does not look healthy. Um, I think we should get this guy to a doctor. But, um, oh, no, he's fine. He's made out of rubber. It's okay. Come on, what's your name? Newfin. Help your fellow stricken kerbals. Or just walk on them. It's fine. But anyway, that was Bowling with Cannons. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.